Hi and welcome to our tutorial. Today we are creating a ringtone using Logic Pro 10. As you can see, I've opened a new project and Logic is prompting what type of track I want. I want a software instrument to start off with, so I select software instrument and then click create. Now, a ringtone has four different parts to it. Number one, it needs to be short. To do that, take your mouse pointer to the numbers at the top of the timeline and click and drag. You can see that a yellow bar has been created. That yellow bar shows you the area that will be looped. Part two of a good ringtone is a strong beat. You can select samples containing beats from our sample window. To get to the sample window, go to the, the loop sign top right hand corner and click. You'll notice that you have drums, click on all drums and have a listen through these samples by clicking on them until you find one that you like and then drag it in. I'm going to go ahead and do that. There we go. I've selected my beat. Part three of a good ringtone is to have more than one track playing at the same time. To do that, you need to use your software instrument track that you created earlier. We are going to select a sound for our instrument. Click on the library button top left hand corner to change to a library view. Then select your track that you want to change instrument on and choose an instrument. You've got loads of instruments to choose from. We are going to choose a vintage electric piano. Click and there we go. We have the sound available to us. It is now your job to record a part in using your MIDI keyboard. You do that by simply pressing the record button. Part number four to a successful ringtone is for it to loop back smoothly from the end back to the beginning. And we can help our track sound smoother by adding additional layers. So we want to add another track. We do that by going up to the plus button, clicking, and then you can choose between software instruments and audio track. I'd like to play more tracks in, so I'm going to choose a software instrument. There we go, I've recorded my next track. Let's have a listen to what this sounds like. Obviously this isn't the finished track, but it meets all our criteria. We can add loads more samples or play additional things in, and we can also use our volume faders, these on the side, to either boost the volume or cut the volume of our tracks, depending on what's needed. It is now your turn to create a ringtone. Go ahead and enjoy.